Well, it's a big week for the Mass Mutual Center, one of four regional sites for the NCAA Division I Men's Hockey National Championship Tournament. Really exciting. I was downtown earlier, saw a ton of people and traffic. Mm -hmm. And 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is taking a report on what it takes to put this kind of event together. Scott Griffith has worked at the Mass Mutual Center for decades. Under his watch, they've hosted all kinds of events, but none like the Division I Men's Hockey Regional. Oh, we were excited to get it. It's a, you know, it's an honor to get a NCAA tournament here. Getting the ice ready for the best hockey teams in the country is a high calling for the former Zamboni driver and a particular challenge after their run of events this month. 11 straight sellouts for the Thunderbirds, including the Pink in the Rink game, Disney on Ice, and a constant stream of conventions. You know, that's our business here. We switch from event to event day after day after day. We live for the challenges here. The NCAA calling for a fresh ice surface with specific logos, subsequently roughed up and refinished before the first practice skate. That's six to eight hours of painting, a day and a half of flooding, and effort recruiting skaters to break it all in. And it's not just the ice that has to be customized for an NCAA event like this one. Pretty much everywhere you look inside the arena here at Mass Mutual Center, there's some level of work that had to be put in. There's new lighting for cinematic player intros, extra space for visiting press, and new Dasher graphics. It's all over Saturday evening, starting another Mad Dash transition. For those involved, it's all worth it. Yeah, it's great to me to see the kids, the joy of watching them win or, you know, even the you know, sadness on the teams that lose. And knowing you've had a part in somebody's championship is always fun. Working for you, Duncan McLean, 22 News.